My name is Scott Hoppermans. I'm one of the senior solutions architects with Liquid. And today I'm going to go over Liquid's CDI, or Composable Disaggregated Infrastructure, or GPU on demand, and show you how we can move GPUs in and out of a working system live uh, to meet the needs of the unknown workload, or the ever-changing workload, or research need, and to be able to create a configuration that was otherwise impossible and ideally to create that app, uh, hardware for the application to get it to complete how it needed to be done in the business time frame it needs to be done. So here on the screen, I've got our system tab open to our liquid GUI. And today we're gonna be working with a host on here and I've got a couple of SSH windows open to that host. So up here in the upper right, I'm gonna be issuing some commands to it to show the uh, PCIe bus. And while we're composing devices in and out of this server, I've got a dmessage watch window open so we can actually see these changes as the kernel sees them when we're making them. So we can see that it is running live, we're not having to reboot the OS, and we can do these very, very quickly to meet the ever-changing demands within the data center. So here on the fabric layer, I've got all of the hardware devices that this fabric knows about. Uh, a couple of servers here, some NVIDIA T4 GPUs under our GPU section, some SSDs, and if we had any NICs or FPGAs or composable memory, those would be listed up here as well. Now we can provide a level of multi-tenancy for all of this hardware to be able to divvy it up for multiple departments. So we can create groups and assign the hardware to those groups and prevent other groups from impacting each other. Each group can have its own set of hardware and servers that can't impact what other people are doing in the other groups. That also means you can have, say, the dev department can purchase some new GPUs and no one else can make use of them until they're, say, certified internally for use. Now here on host one, I've got a uh, Dell PowerEdge server and I don't have any devices associated to it right now. Now this server up here is running uh, Yamantu 22.04 and if I do an LSPCI to that server, I can see that no devices show up. Similarly, if I do an NVIDIA SMI and query the NVIDIA driver directly, it does not know about anything on this device, any GPUs on this server. So I will go ahead and do a machine edit here and see that I have all of this hardware that I can assign to this host. So I'll go ahead and grab two GPUs. We'll slide them over here under the assigned area and we'll kick off a reprogramming event. Now when I do that, we'll see the kernel recognize these devices. We'll be adding in and marrying up the pre-allocated bar address space from the server to the physical device and creating that direct electrical connection to this server that only this server can see. Sometimes we have questions around the security aspect of this. When we assign these devices, no other server can connect to it because we're making a direct electrical connection between this device or devices to this one server. So I've kicked off a reprogramming event. In the background, the Liquid Director is reprogramming the PLX PCIe chips in the background and we're marrying up those. We've got our reprogramming complete and if I come here to this server and query it, I've now got two, two NVIDIA T4 GPUs that this server can recognize. And if I run NVIDIA SMI, I see both of these are recognized. The driver sees them, the application is ready to go. We did this within moments. No shutting down the server, scheduling a maintenance window, sending somebody into the server farm to put these in possibly dropping a GPU, especially if you're talking about a GPU that's fifteen, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. We've done this live to meet the demand of the application of the workload for as long as it needs it to meet the business demand of the time frame it needs it. Similarly, if we have uh, on here this server, if I need more GPU horsepower, everything in the GUI is API based. So on here, there is nothing in the GUI that I have to do manually that cannot be automated by a northbound application. Anything that can call an API can direct Liquid to create the fabric or the control that it needs at the time it needs it. So things like Slurm integration, dynamic Slurm, uh, Ansible scripting, Python scripting, uh, and even Kubernetes here shortly 
we can have those higher level orchestrators and schedulers have direct liquid to create the configuration we need. So I'll go ahead and add in two more GPUs. I'll kick off another reprogramming event. And now we're gonna watch these plug in live down here in the lower right. We're making those connections. We've done, done the second one. Our reprogramming's complete. And now this server sees all four GPUs and the NVIDIA driver will recognize all four of them. So that makes sizing the hardware to meet what the application needs and not simply having to deal with what the hardware has as a static configuration, whether it be a four or an eight way building block in the data center. So now our workload has done what we needed to do. It's met the business objective. I can go ahead and we'll take these GPUs away and essentially return the books back to the library. So I'll take them off here, slide them back into the free pool. We'll kick off another reprogramming event. And down here on the bottom, we'll watch as we disconnect this these GPUs from this server live and returning them, resetting them to a, as if it were a powered off condition so that the next server can uh, take that GPU and make use of it for another workload. And with that, uh, thank you very much.